What's inside this box right here is going to completely change the way you do builds. I'm Justin Davis and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> Now there's been a lot of game changers this year and the F4 Magnum was one of them. What you saw on this channel previously, this guy right here. Everything comes in one box and you just solder up your motors to it, add your camera to it and you're ready to go. Uh, that's pretty cool because I was able to build a 5 inch quad in about 2 hours. Um, now this is crazy. This right here came to me this week. This is the HGLRC F4 Zeus and I got this and I wasn't quite sure what it was when I first opened up the box. They asked me if I wanted one and I said, sure, I'll, I'll take a look at it. So I got this little box and I put it on my desk and I, I opened it up and I started looking at this and I thought I had like transported into the future for a second there um, because this is a flight controller and ESC all in one and it's on 20 by 20 mounting holes on here so this is for micros uh, specifically and <laughs> this is like some serious like back to the future stuff right here this is pretty amazing um, I felt like I was in a time warp like in the twilight zone or something um, pulling this out and looking at it now let me show you this board look at this this is actually amazing work uh, HGLRC is really starting to make a name for themselves by making things like this. They're impressing me with the uh, the F4 boards that they've been releasing. The 28 amp one recently was great. Now this one is an all-in-one F4 flight controller, ESC combo. You can see all the tabs on the sides here and uh, all the tabs along the front, the top, and the back. And on the bottom you have 15 amp ESC setup. Isn't that pretty amazing? Now what's also extra cool about this is it also supports PPM, SBUS, and DSMX for Spectrum guys. So no one's left out. Anyone can use this board. Um, and I think this is exceptional because it's so ultra thin and this is really gonna make our micro builds so much cleaner. Um, and, and the price for this, I'm not sure what the street price is on this yet, uh, but I'll try to put a link down below. But I'm going to go ahead and run through some of the features of this for you and uh, just, <laughs> just going to show you how amazing this looks. And I'm going to show you an example. Uh, this is my Leader 120 right here. And you can kind of see there's a bunch of stuff I have crammed up in there and I have stuff everywhere and it's not super neat. Um, but just imagine if this was inside there and it does look like this is a little extra wide on the outside edge, but I, I believe it would fit in there. Now width might be the enemy of this board, but we'll have to see on some of our frames. Uh, we also have a baby QAV here and this one has different mounting holes. For some reason they use the awesome F3 on this one. Uh, I believe it's the F3 and it just has a stretched version. Uh, of where the mounts are so uh, a little longer there I think those were like maybe 30 not 20 but 20 across 30 long so a little bit longer now let's just go ahead and hop right into uh, the layout of the flight controller itself and, and how everything wires up because um, this is probably going to end up being one of your favorite boards this year uh, and, and into next year. This is really an amazing start for an all-in-one, a truly all-in-one uh, flight controller ESC combo. Now you do have that STM32 F4 chip on there and you can see that right there it has a QC passed little sticker right on top of that you don't have to remove that uh, it also has Betaflight already flashed on here Betaflight OSD which you can go in and change around or you can use that uh, standard run cam OSD on there if you wanted to uh, in replace of Betaflight you also have a 5 volt and 3 amp BEC and ESC PDB integrated into this which is super cool you have VBAT um, supporting up to 2 to 3s on this board you wouldn't want to run this on four i know it says it goes up to uh, burst up to 25 amp but try to keep this one around 3s because 4s on micros just seems to be insane uh, unless you have a little larger motors if you have larger motors to support it you can do that you also have 16 megabytes of built-in
in black box data on here for uh, your black box data recording. And it supports, like I said, SBUS, PPM, DSMX guys uh, also included. And you can have DSHOT 600 on here as well. So with that 4-in-1 BL Heli ESC, you have uh, the option to do that. But this is cool because they do give you this little schematic inside the box, and I, I'm not sure I've seen this nice of a profile come, uh, and a, a schematic layout come with another flight controller this year yet. This is like a full color layout right here. So let's just go ahead and get started at the very back, back of the board right here. We have negative and positive for your battery hookup right there. Right in the middle is where your VTX is gonna hook up. And over on this first side right here, we have motor one. Up here is motor two, motor three, and you can see that little three labeled there, four, and you have four right there, also two, and one down here. But it's, it seems to have a really simple layout. And I also like the fact that they did all these across the top up here. Uh, this is where your receivers and your camera is gonna plug into. So right up at the top left, on the very top left, we have where S-Bus would go. So we have ground here, we have five volt, we have S bus here. And the next one over is gonna be for PPM. So we have PPM there. And the next one over from that is gonna be where your DSM plugs into. So DSM guys right here, and then three volt and ground right here. So the next one we have cam, where the cam's gonna go. So five volt, the video signal, and the ground right there. And over on the far right, we have RX6, TX6, RX3, and TX3. And obviously we want some type of boot button on this board, so they also included sort of one of those um, tiny push button ones. These are a little bit hard to do, um, to push down, but it will work if you need to reflash this with the latest beta flight. Now let's just go ahead and take some outer dimension measurements for you so you guys can get an idea of how wide this is. Uh, so the outer edge in this direction is going to be 32 millimeters. 32.4, probably right about 32 millimeters there uh, wide. And let's see how long it is from front to back. And front to back, it's gonna be 35 millimeters. Now I'm just gonna flip this over and show you the bottom here. You can see those mounting holes. And you notice there's a little harness right here. And it did come with this cable harness with a ton of wires hanging off of it. Uh, what are each of these for? I'm just gonna go ahead and plug these in and show you. And have them all here separated but this is kind of cool because not only do we have all of this on top here we also have tons of extra features packed into this harness coming out right here and these aren't signal wires um, these are ex extra features that we can run off uh, wires to so if you want to add more stuff on here uh, i'm going to start over here on the far left with this blue wire and the blue wire is for your rssi the yellow wire is for your s6 and the black one is going to be ground. The red one here is gonna be five volt. And this one is for beeper. And this one is for ground. And we have another five volt here. And we have an LED wire here. So pretty cool that they added some more features into a harness. And uh, that was kind of a great way to save some space on top of this board because they really did pack a lot of stuff in here. And I'm not sure how they would have included the rest of this stuff up here onto the surface of this board. So uh, if you're looking for the buzzer, it's going to be coming off of your harness, which is going to be nice. Uh, that'll work just fine. And if you choose not to use these features, you don't have to. You can just unplug this and set it to the side. Now it also comes with its own little capacitor, so you can solder this on as well, and this might keep you from uh, overheating or overexerting voltage to the board. And it also comes with its own little set of mounting hardware, so pretty nice. This is really gonna change the way we're doing micros this year, so um, I'm really excited and looking forward to um, cleaning up my micro builds. As you can see, this one has plenty of space up in here, uh, underneath here, even with the receiver, and it has a built-in VTX right here. And this one's coming up on the channel, guys. This is the mini QAV 106. Uh, so this is my original QAV over here by Lumineer. Now this is the big guy and this is the mini, what I call the, the baby QAV. Uh, but this is what is going to be a huge game changer this year. Um, this is absolutely awesome. The Zeus 
F4. Um, a really, really cool product that I'm super excited about. I hope this thing does not fry and uh, just puff the white smoke, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm super excited to go ahead and get my soldering iron on here and uh, get everything all wired up. And now I just have to choose what frame I'm going to put it on. I think I might choose one of my uh, BQE frames over there that uh, Bill sent me. So. Thanks again for watching, you guys. This has been the new HGLRC Game Changer Zeus F4. You should check this out in the link below and uh, support HGLRC and what they do because they're doing some really awesome stuff. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.